funny thing to me I don't pretend to know where to go, what to do I need to eat something before we work out Why do we have to eat out every meal, is what I'm asking. Because I have not gone to the grocery store. You got freaking two old things of lettuce in here. Can we get sell here? Those are so old, Nick. I go to the grocery store to make myself feel normal, and then I end up going out of town for two weeks, and the lettuce goes bad. We go to the grocery store, and then you end up never wanting to eat here. What happens? No. You want to go out to eat every freaking meal. Well, fine. You just whip yourself up something that's in there. I might just do that. Good luck. We waste more money. Nick, there's nothing in that pantry. There's cereal. You're gonna eat cereal for lunch. It's not noon yet. This is still breakfast. Well, I'll have dinner ready for you tonight when you come home. <laughs> well, let's see, I go to yoga at 4.30, and then I'm going to get a manicure pedicure with Jayla. We can do that before. Don't you think I'm more independent now than when we got married? Nine months have done, been doing me good. I'm pulling in right now. I just, I don't think we're going to be able to make the movie because I am thought to cook an entire meal. Can you help me carry stuff in? I think I'm going to use my bread maker. But we're not going to have time, I know. I mean, I don't, we don't have to go. Maybe I'll cook tomorrow. It's up to you. I don't care. I mean, we don't have to go. Or if you want to go, I wouldn't use the bread maker and do the whole deal. It's up to you. I mean, I don't think we're going to have time. It's 9.45 at Woodland Hills. Yeah, I didn't realize it was 9 o'clock. We'd have to go to the movie. Or if you want to see it tonight, then you can make it another night. The dinner won't be ready till 11. I didn't plan properly. Well, if it's not going to be ready till 11, then don't make it tonight. Make it <laughs> some other night. Man, I don't want to eat 11 o'clock, do you? Especially pasta. So make it tomorrow. Hey, what's up? Yeah, it's at 9.45 there. Is that enough time for you guys to eat or whatever? Oh, you already ate? That was quick. I can see it. We had dinner on the table and I had dinner in grocery sacks. I'm sorry. It's okay. Over frozen treats here. Corn dogs, ice cream, cereal. Leave now and go eat at that food court right there and right there. I can make a pasta salad real quick. I mean, we have to leave in like a half hour. All right, I suck. I'm a bad wife. I promise to make you a very good dinner tomorrow night. How about that? Well, I had a whole romantic dinner planned. I was going to be Chef Jessica, and I didn't calculate my time well. My manicure and pedicure went a little too long. Maybe we get me two sticks of butter. Two full sticks? Yeah. Each stick is eight tablespoons? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. What's up with that chicken in there? What? Should I put it in the freezer? No, I'm making it. When? Tonight. Oh, I thought we were having, having chicken in your pasta. Well, look out now. I'm giving you a well-balanced meal. How's it coming? I messed up already. I was supposed to put the liquid in first. Just follow the directions carefully. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, Joe, it's Nick. I just want to give you the heads up. I'm going to take Jessica down to San Diego tomorrow. Going a hot air balloon ride, the whole deal. So just so you know where we are, and if she calls for any reason, she has no idea what we're doing. I'm not even going to tell her we're leaving until like 11.30. Well, Jessica's idea of romance is like, you know, her favorite movie is Pretty Woman. She loves the flower petals and the candles and the champagne. And of course, her dream has always been to go up in a hot air balloon. Nick, where's the frying pan? Uh, what I'm gonna do is kind of combine all those things. We have a nice night in a very romantic hotel with the candles and a great dinner. It should be really, really romantic. You want me to help you with anything? It has to like rise and do all this <laughs> So maybe we'll have bread for dessert. It smells like gas or something. I really never cooked until I got married because Nick wanted me to become more of a woman before he proposed to me. So cooking was one of the things that I took on to make me become a woman. Sugar in the spine. Strawberry shortcake, sweet potato pie. But give me a little hot sauce on the side. Chocolate cake. Crap out of myself because it's like popping all over me. I think it's done. How are you supposed to know? I think tomorrow I might cook you a romantic dinner. <laughs> what are you gonna make? Steaks? Grill hot dogs, maybe. Thanks for cooking, babe. Mm -hmm. That looks very, very good. It's stressful cooking. Mm. It's good though. See if I can get it catered in. <laughs> yeah, I think she's getting up now. We have to do this interview for Daily News, and I think we're probably like 12, 30 leave or something. But just so you know, I'm taking Jessica on a surprise trip to uh, San Diego. But she doesn't know yet, so I'm going to tell her like 11.30 to go pack a bag real fast. So I'll tell her to give you a call. Okay, bye. All right. Jess, you have a CD coming out, a book that's out, a movie. Why do you want to do all this during your first year of marriage? Because I'm young and I want to have kids before Nick's 40. <laughs> I want to be able to devote my entire life to my kids. And right now I'm too selfish. <laughs> I mean, we need to have a dog first. Very cool. Yeah. So you guys are off yeah. to San Diego, is that what I heard? Uh. Ah. We are? Yup. Pack your bag, chick. Uh-oh. Yep. I'm going to San Diego. Don't worry about it. Where are we going? Don't worry about it. I don't know what he's talking about right now. <laughs> what? We're leaving. I'm taking you somewhere. Pack your bag. We're going. We're going away. I'm confused. You're supposed to be. It's all right. Where are we going? Don't, Nick. Ah, uh, stop! Are you mad because he gave it away? What are you doing exactly? I'm cleaning our driveway. Why don't you just wait till it rains? Give me some more slack on the hose over there. How do I do that? Unravel it. Is that right? What time are we leaving? If you don't want to go, we don't have to go. I don't know what we're doing. We're going to drive into Mexico. What? We're going to Ensenada. I got a kink. Will you unkink me? Huh? Unkink the hose, will you? How do I do that? You're not being very informative. Don't, Nick. Don't. Nick. <laughs> Get your passport. Where would my passport be? 